Greetings Love Posse. Thank you for supporting my channel. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. This morning's message. Claim what belongs to you, Love Posse. Claim what belongs to you. Your body, your energy, your time, your mind, your emotions, your spirit, your blessings. These belong to you, Love Posse. And what happens when we do not claim what belongs to us? When we fail to take responsibility, to accept and to claim what belongs to us, it opens the door to trespassers, to thieves, to abusers. We must learn to say no. We must learn to communicate to people what we need, what we want, how we want it. We must learn to set boundaries, love posse. I know this from personal experience. <laughs> At 53 years old, I'm learning now to set boundaries. And the sensation, the emotion that I experience that lets me know that I need to say no, that I need to claim what is mine is anger. As a child, we experience anger when someone crossed the line, but we're told that anger is a negative emotion, that anger is a destructive emotion, that anger is something that we have to manage. Anger can be destructive, negative, something that we need to manage. Also, anger is a messenger. It also has a positive side. It's an emotion that lets us know that someone has crossed the line and we must set a boundary. See, there's a purpose to everything and there's a purpose for anger. I remember seeing this video, watching this video, and on the panel was the Dalai Lama and also Bishop Desmond Tutu. And Bishop Desmond Tutu said that when he was younger and he saw someone mistreating someone else, he became angry. And from that anger, he learned compassion for other people. Anger also teaches us compassion. It teaches us that someone has crossed the line as well. It teaches us to stand up for ourselves, to claim what is ours. When someone trespasses, on your property, your body, it's time to say no. It's time to set a boundary. When s someone says something that's hurtful or inappropriate, offensive, it's time to communicate to that person that that's not acceptable, that that's not appropriate, that they are not to say those things to you. When someone does something, put their hands on you, 
Love Posse. It's time to create a boundary. It's time to say, no, stop it. You're hurting me. You see, we really don't learn these things as children. Maybe our parents were never taught how to set boundaries. So they had to learn stumbling in their adult life. And many of us are learning stumbling in our adult life, getting angry because we do not know how to set boundaries. We do not know how to say no. We do not know how to claim what belongs to us, especially women. Women, we've been taught to appease, to, to play this false nice game, to allow men to trespass against us. The Divine Mother did not create us to allow others to trespass against us, to steal our peace, our harmony, our tranquility, our love and kindness and compassion. Because what happens when we do not claim what belongs to us? People many people will take advantage of us because we are not saying no. No, we are not being true to ourselves. We are not telling people who we are. We are not accepting our worth when we allow other people to abuse us, steal from us, to trespass against what belongs to us, it comes from not knowing our worth. It comes from not learning how to set boundaries, not claiming who we are, telling people who we are and this is what we stand for. So love posse, if people are trespassing against you in your life, against your body, thinking that your body belongs to them, thinking that your mind belongs to them, that they can shove their narrative in your, in your mind, that they can shove and force their beliefs down your throat. If they're zapping you of your energy, stealing your time like a thief in the night, when our time is valuable because we don't have much time in this body, it can be gone, life can be gone just like that. If they're taking your blessings because you won't claim your blessings, love posse. If you're getting angry over this and being passive aggressive, love posse. <laughs> you don't have to be passive aggressive. You have to speak up. You have to learn to set boundaries. You have to learn to say no, no, stop it. It takes courage. It takes knowing that you're worthy. It takes self-love. You see, it's human conditioning. We've been conditioned, again, especially women, to allow others to trespass against us. If you want a man, you have to be quiet and demure. You have to give him what he wants. No, you don't, love posse. We were not created for that. Love posse, we were created in the image 
of the Divine Mother. We are spirit. We are consciousness. Love Posse. So we have to claim what belongs to us. And yes, Love Posse, there are consequences. <laughs> Another reason why many do not claim what belongs to them, why many can't say no, set boundaries, can't tell people what they need and want, mm. can't be who they are because there are consequences. We may feel guilty. People may say they're hurt because we said, no, 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 don't do that. So La Posse, you have to weigh it up. Are you gonna go through your life belonging to someone else, allowing someone else to claim what is yours being the property of someone else to trample on love posse because they say they're hurt better them have their feelings hurt by a no than you hurt by not having the courage to say no. You see, when we tell people no, they either have to accept it or not. And if they can't accept your no, then they have an issue with their own character. Love Posse. We have to learn to respect other people people's no, other people's boundary, other people's property, their body, their mind, their soul, their heart, their energy, their time, their blessings, their life, love posse. It's a problem in the world today. We can't accept what belongs to other people. We can't respect their property, their body, their mind, their soul, their energy, their time, who they are, their life, their blessings. We get jealous because we can respect and accept what belongs to them, what the Divine Mother has given to them. And if we can't respect and accept what belongs to someone else, they're not going to respect and accept what belongs to us. So we must claim what belongs to us, love posse. Know your worth, say no. Tell people what you need what you want, how you want it. Be who you are. Claim who you are, love posse. Claim what belongs to you. Take one step today, love posse. One step today. Sit still in a quiet place and ask yourself two questions, love posse. First question, what is the cost to me if I do not claim what belongs to me? What is the cost to me? And say it in another way, what is the cost to me if I continue to allow people to trespass against me, to abuse me, to steal from me because I want set a boundary. And the next question, 
which you may ask yourself first. What is it that I must claim as mine? What is it? Must I claim my body? Because people think my body belongs to them. Must I claim my mind? My emotions? My energy, my spirit, my soul, my blessings, my time. You see, when we do not claim what belongs to us, we are powerless. People will play with our emotions. People will put hands on our body or tell us that our body is theirs for them to mandate laws That they own our body so they can tell us how we can use it what we can do with it if we don't claim our time people will abuse our time on and on talking about nonsense wasting our time on bullshit love posse they will suck us drain us of our energy if we don't claim our energy. They will knock our blessings that the Divine Mother has given us if we don't claim our blessings. These things are our birthright. Claim what belongs to you, Love Posse. <laughs> claim what belongs to you. I love you, Love Posse. The Divine Mother loves you, Love Posse. You are loved. Thank you for your time. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also check out my merch on my website at TiffanyHoward.com. Also, I'm on Facebook at Tiffany Howard. Namaste, love posse. Namaste.